Happy Friday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Here's news from the Counseling Center. College visits are kicking off this month with a visit from the CSU Fort Collins reps on Wednesday, January 24th. Then, Western State Colorado University returns for a second visit on Thursday, January 25th. February college visits kick off with Fort Hayes State on Tuesday, February 13th, followed by Colorado Mesa University on Valentine's Day. UCCS will be here on Thursday, February 15th. Adams State will visit on Thursday, February 22nd. And Lamar Community College is scheduled for Friday, February 23rd. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, listen up. If you're interested in taking cosmetology classes next year, that's right, classes where you learn to become a hairstylist, nail technician, skin expert, or makeup artist, then stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for more information. In senior news, senior shirts are still on sale in the Counseling Center for $15. Get yours now so you can wear it for the senior panoramic picture. Speaking of senior panoramic, that is scheduled for Tuesday, February 6th at 7 a.m. Wear your senior shirt. And seniors, if you have photos you would like to have in the yearbook, or senior slideshow, send them to Curie Carmody at this email. Photos must be of seniors only. And finally, from the Counseling Center, juniors interested in attending the Career Start program at Pikes Peak Community College next year, sign up to see Mr. Thiel by January 24th. Slots are limited, so get yourself to the Counseling Center ASAP. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy for the lunch menu for today. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's see what we're having for the next few days. Friday. Mandarin chicken. And on Monday we're having a cheeseburger. Tuesday, chicken quesadilla. Hope to see you then. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Just a friendly reminder from the cafeteria. You can add money to your lunch account online or see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have student cabinet, club, and fundraiser news. But first we're throwing it to Moose Santos for a gladiator sports update. It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. The winter sports seasons are coming to a close in a few short weeks, and that means spring sports will be getting ready to kick off shortly. Mark these informational meetings and contacts on your calendar if you are interested in participating. Girls Tennis will have a meeting today in room 115 at lunch. Ladies, if soccer is your sport, then mark January 24th on your calendar for the after-school meeting in room 130. See Miss Sardina if you cannot attend. Boys Swim and Dive has their informational meeting next week on Tuesday, January 23rd in room 110 during lunch. See Mrs. Wickbird for more details. The football team started off-season's workout last week. If you missed them, see, please see Coach O in the gym for the schedule. Track also had their informational meeting this week. Please see Coach Majerison in Bowers Gym for details. The forensics team traveled to St. Mary's for a Congress meet yesterday and did well. This Saturday, the team is headed down to La Junta for a competition. In basketball news, our Lady Glads return from Harrison with a win against the Panthers. The Lady Glads are home this Saturday at 2.30 against the Titans from TCA. Come cheer them on. Our men's basketball team also played Harrison last night and pounded those Panthers for the win on the home court. The fellas travel to TCA on Saturday to take on the Titans up north at 4 p.m. We'll have the scores for you on Monday. Our wrestling team had a dual match against Mesa Ridge on Wednesday but could not overcome the deficit. The team is on the road this weekend at Doherty. The ladies swim team is back in the pool this afternoon at Fountain Fort Carson at 3 p.m. Good luck to all our sports teams tonight and this weekend. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Friday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Moose. Since we're in scheduling mode, KWHS wants you. If you are interested in joining our staff next year, please stop by room 102 where the magic happens to pick up an application. Applications are due on February 2nd. Likewise, if you are interested in being a part of the group that helps preserve your school memories, that's right, the yearbook staff. Pick up an application for Miss Kennedy in room 104 ASAP. Applications are due by January 31st. Remember, Student Cabinet is taking your donations for their Pennies for Puppies campaign today. You can donate good old cash, but they will also take dog and cat food, pet beds, towels and toys and accessories. All donations will go to the Humane Society. 
Speaking of student cabinet, today is Hawaiian Day. Aloha! And we're running on an assembly schedule today for the Winter Sports Assembly. If you want something fun to do this weekend, join the NHS and Sophomore Council at the Winter Luau tomorrow from 7 to 10 p.m. They will have the usual dance music for us, but they are also promising games like cornhole, sumo challenge, obstacle course, bowling, mini golf, and a compliment booth. You may also win some prizes. Tickets will be available at the door for $5 with an ID or $10 without. See you there. Just a reminder, Student Union is open again in the Media Center every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. Students interested in the SEP program next year, Ms. Ms. Griggs is holding an informational meeting on Friday, January 26 at lunch in room 131. And finally, Renaissance applications are now available on the School Wires page. Everyone is eligible to apply this time, including freshmen. All applications are due Wednesday, February 7th to Ms. Sardinia in room 130 no later than 3 p.m. No late applications will be accepted. See Ms. Sardinia for more more information. That's all for our news today. Have a great Friday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.